Okay. Um, we're getting ready to leave in about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. And so I am going to squeeze in a little river painting. I'm going to try. <laughs> and um, this place is just so pretty. I can't help myself. So let me just show you where I'm at. So that's looking towards the sun, obviously. And then there's this cute bridge. Some really deep water. A kayaker just went by. I don't know, I might paint that. Buddy, buddy, should we paint here? Yeah, he's into it. He's super into it. I've got an eight by 10 canvas, so I'm gonna just kind of check my viewfinder here. I kind of like this kind of composition because it crops the bridge in an interesting way. And there's lots of light and dark. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um, I've got my colors here, and this is really kind of becoming my palette. Um, so it's raw umber, ultramarine blue, permanent light green, cadmium yellow medium, I think I had quinacridone gold and then quinacridone magenta all in acrylic and you can see that I also have some medium on my palette I have golden open gloss <clears throat> excuse me and I have golden thinner open thinner um, I use the open gloss kind of like you would a liquid and I use the thinner kind of like you would turpentine, um, but the thinner is a thicker consistency. I will often take the open thinner and just dump it straight on top of my little pile of paint to keep it from drying out. And then as I paint and add layers, um, I have found that the open golden paints tend to dry flat with a flat finish. So I add copious amounts of open uh, gloss medium to provide depth and flow and uh, some variety to the surface for when it dries. So there you can see I'm taking a little break. Now I'm, um, you can see, sorry about the glare by the way, I'm working on the bridge. As I'm painting this, I'm painting in the sun and it was really hard to see the value of the bridge itself. Um, and I felt like I was getting it white enough or light enough, but then as I, t when I took it inside, it looked less light. So I was really pushing and pushing and pushing that value of the bridge and the metal railing on the side. I really enjoyed the contrast of the concrete of the bridge with the dark under the bridge and then there were some nice reflections under the bridge as well um, so I'm starting to tighten up a little you can see I'm working with a smaller brush at this point and I started playing with putting in some of the weeds that were growing in the cracks of the bridge and I'm also blending in the water, the reflections on the water. <clears throat> water is one of the hardest things to paint, I think. I will tend to just layer and layer different reflections, different dabs of color until I get a pleasing effect. Sometimes I will use my hand and smudge the paint a little. So now you can see my back. <laughs> and I, um, I'm still playing around with good camera angles. Um, it's kind of hard to get a good camera angle when you're out because I'm always in the way. <laughs>
Here I'm playing around some more with the aging on the bridge and working on getting in the shadow from the tree that's hanging over the bridge to the left. I only had a short time amount of time to paint this painting because uh, Jan was on the way. So I painted this in about an hour in the morning. Um, this is the my last day in Townsend, Tennessee, outside Smoky Mountain National Park. I really didn't want to leave. It was absolutely gorgeous there. And this is away from the hustle and bustle of like Pigeon Forge, where it's almost like Las Vegas. This is more of a cute little town in the, you know, mountain town. So I stayed here for about three days. I'm following Jan. He's pulling the RV, but we're heading back to Asheville. Got to go through Pigeon Forge, which is um, not fun. But Townsend was amazing. Um, the lighting was amazing. Spring colors. Um, everyone was really friendly. Uh, being this close to the National Park was wonderful. And I just, I really want to come back and do more painting um, here. There's a lot of cool old farms and just beautiful. All right, we drove about five miles before I had to stop and take a picture of this view. Um, so pretty. All right, so this is the finished painting. Um, I think that the upper part above the bridge needs to be a little lighter and work on the tree shapes. And I think that could use some more reflections of the green from the trees and the dark shapes in the water. I really like the dark um, recess of the tree line un directly under the bridge. I like the shadow on the left of the bridge. Uh, maybe the value could be a little bit lighter. But overall, this was fun. Um, I've never painted a bridge before, and I think I did an okay job. I, I like the metal railing, and it was a fun day for me. So just want to thank everybody for watching, and um, I'm working on my audio. <laughs> I will have a microphone that I will be using in the future because this was kind of windy. But so thanks, everyone, for watching. There will be more videos shortly. Thanks.